Good evening, everybody. Here we are again, all season adventures. Well, if we're going too far, I gotta show you guys something. Gotta start on it, but uh, there you go. Got uh, most of the backyard uh, driveway here, all uh, sealed and crack filled and everything. So I've been busy with that, and at the end of the driveway, got a big pothole kind of patched up. So I've been keeping busy, and uh, not gonna lie, I don't really feel like working on the Jeep tonight, but uh. Bit tired, started uh, working again. Well, different job, a little bit different, but anyhow, uh, but uh, don't feel like working on the Jeep. But that being said, still gotta get it done. So, uh, thank you guys for making me work on a Jeep, guys. If it wasn't for the videos on Thursdays, yeah, I just woke up for a little nap. But if it wasn't for the videos on Thursdays, I wouldn't be making this video right now. So, thank you guys. So, again, can't thank you guys enough. So, let's roll that new intro and then get to work. Cheers. Just fine. Uh, this piece looks. Yeah, we got a little bit of a cut in there, but uh, maybe we'll make that work, I think. But uh, I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Looks like it started raining, so we're done for today. Let's, let's wrap her up and go back inside the house. No, 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 I know I promise you guys, there's lots more to do, so, yeah. Hoping to do some patchwork, you guys, you guys all know how much I love doing patchwork. A little bit of sarcasm there, if you guys can't tell. But, uh, if you guys watched last week's episode, it's time to uh, try to start on these universal joints, so, uh, not sure exactly what's the process, so it's time to uh, look a bit, and once I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. So, wait on a second there. Hmm. Hmm. What's the quickest and easiest way to get to that universal joint? You know what? I'll just take everything off. That way I can clean everything, all the brake components and everything, and you, whoever buys it, will know what he has. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, you guys might ask why I'm not using a ratchet here. I really, really hate these uh, 12 point bolts. Who who puts these? I, there was a few on the Sportster to uh, had some work at the, to change your brakes. Yeah, that's right. I had to do change those 12 point. And like, I don't have any 12 point sockets. I got some wrenches, and sometimes they're freaking hard to fit in these places. So, uh, anyhow, on quick complaining. I'll get back to you guys once I have these uh, 12 point bolt heads removed. So, wait out a second. And uh, just so you guys can see why I'm not changing the front brake pads, we still got lots of meat left on those. So uh, whoever's getting this Jeep, got lots of brakes in the front still. And uh, we'll clean this up and uh, we'll paint on this up too. Make it all look pretty for you. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, simple, I tell you. I do not have a socket for that. Hmm. I was hoping to take these off for you guys today, but uh, 
I'll have to uh, look around and see what I can find for that. So uh, I think that's about it for today. Because if you look outside, it's coming down hard pretty now, pretty hard right now. So. Uh, Oh, upon further investigation, I thought I needed a special tool here, but nope. Looks like we got a special cap here that goes on it. It's kind of smart. That way you got your little tabs there, and that's where your cutter pin goes through. And then just a regular nut here. So, uh, let's see if you got a big enough socket, and get this removed. We are not stopped just yet, my friends. Okay, I was wrong. We're stopped again. Biggest socket I got is one and one eight. Yeah, that ain't gonna work, so, uh... Tomorrow I should be able to pick some up from where I used to work, so to get some uh, big boy sockets and get this removed. So, meanwhile, let's go get that uh, caliper off on the other side. So, before I tackle that, uh, check this out. Looks like we got a leak coming from the ceiling. Well, I'm not going to tackle that when it's raining right now, but... Uh, Looks like when it's sunny and I, I forget, I have to tackle it at some point. I, I, I'll, while editing this video, it'll remind me, hey, all season, I go back up top and patch up your roof. <sighs> and people are bored right now. How is that even possible? Anyhow, let's get back to work. Again. Good brake pads. There you go. Now we're where we're at on the other side. But anyhow, it is. Uh, not sure if your watch ever goes as fast as mine, but uh, mine's pretty much seven o'clock. So that means it's time for me to go. Uh, Get my pre-workout in, go get my workout, then watch some wrestling, and then go to bed, and then go through all this again tomorrow. So, uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Or for you guys, in about a couple seconds. Cheers. Hey there, here we are, next day. And, uh, I didn't get my sockets for those front axles, so, time to get on the Jeep. Um, of course we're on the Jeep, but, uh, time to get on the bodywork. You know me, I like to find uh, usage out of junk stuff. Here is our old uh, light bar that we had on top of the Jeep. Kind of made ourselves a little bit of a break here to try to bend this to the shape of the bottom of the body. So, will it work? I don't know. Let's find out. For the moment of truth, looks not too bad, looks rough, but that's just all the paint all chipping. No, that's nothing, that's uh, it's a Jeep. So, anyhow, let's go see for the moment of truth. Bring a marker with us. Oh. Okay, not too bad. I think we can work with. Yeah, time to go get some paint off. And I don't think we'll have time to weld this tonight because it is five to seven. And like I said yesterday, seven o'clock ish. Time to get ready for that workout because we gotta keep them guns going. So anyhow, uh, let's grind some paint off and prep this so that tomorrow we can put this in place. Good evening, here we are, Wednesday night, tomorrow, hopefully got this video done for you guys tomorrow, or right now as you guys are watching it. 
but uh, was able to borrow a socket from work. Yeah, this afternoon, uh, bet my little license plate holder on the on the FXR, try to make it a little bit more pretty. Took the the sissy bar off, try to clean it up a little bit. Anyhow, here we are, back in the shop. Time to try to get that off, my friends. So let's get her done. You guys, what's going on right now? Looks like I messed up my my ratchet. She's going a little bit wonky on us, so uh, uh, gonna have to go with the regular wrench. It's gonna be a little bit more time consuming because I gotta put it on, put it off. If uh, they would have used just a regular six point bolt, that I could use a socket, but unfortunately, gotta use the wrenches because that's all I have in twelve points right now. So it'll be a little bit painful. So. I'll get back to you guys once I have all these bolts removed in like half hour or so. Okay. Check that out. That is uh, no buenos, my friends. So, uh... Yeah, punch this out now. Just took a one cap end off, and there are no uh, needle rollers at all in there, so that'll explain the huge uh, clunk going on in this uh, axle. But uh, still don't have a complete universal joint apart. But anyhow, uh, it is actually right now 3:30 on Thursday. Normally, I have these videos ready for you guys 7 o'clock Thursday, but. Still gonna get ready for now, so I know you guys are watching as I say this. It, it doesn't make any sense sometimes, but anyhow, uh, I know we didn't get lots done this week, not nearly as much as we were hoping for because I don't have that panel welded in place, I don't have the universal joints put in place, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. And you guys are seeing this getting built bit by bit like that. This could be a hundred part series, I don't know, but uh, in conclusion, finishing, all I got to say is uh. Thank you guys for following along with me. I know there's not many of you guys, but uh, I appreciate uh, all the views. And uh, if you guys want to keep on enjoying this experience, hey, it's an experience for me. It could be an experience for you guys. And uh, if you guys are interested in trying something like this, hey, just go for it. It might take you a year. It might take you two years. It might take you five years. Or hey, if you're great, it might take you a month. I don't know. But uh, those shows where you see it do it in one week, yeah, that, that's not so much. But anyhow, I'm uh, going to wrap it up for now, so uh, till next time, thanks everybody, and remember to live and cheers.